This is the line that has brought Donald Trump so much attention and trouble. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're not sending you. They're not sending you. They're sending people that have lots of problems, and they're bringing those problems with us. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. And some, I assume, are good people. Now let's go through it line by line. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're not sending you. They're not sending you. First of all, Mexico, as in the government, is not sending anybody. So that's problem number one. But moving on. They're sending people that have lots of problems. And they're bringing those problems with us. They're bringing drugs. Drugs coming in from Mexico is certainly a well-documented problem, oftentimes through underground tunnels. And experts say there is certainly an overlap between human and drug smuggling. But the vast majority of undocumented people caught at the border are nabbed on immigration charges, 89%, while drug trafficking charges account for just 5%, according to PolitiFact. So Trump's statement? They're bringing drugs. May be true, but is far from the complete story. Next? They're bringing crime. Keeping him honest, this is not a fair generalization. And there are many data points, as the Washington Post reported, shredding that notion. The Post cited numerous studies, including one from Northwestern University, that concluded there's essentially no correlation between immigrants and violent crime. The Public Policy Institute also found that immigrants are underrepresented in California prisons compared to their representation in the overall population. In fact, U.S. born adult men are incarcerated at a rate of over two and a half times greater than that of foreign born men. And on this other highly inflammatory remark, they're rapists. The data doesn't at all support this categorical statement that undocumented immigrants from Mexico are responsible for large numbers of rapes. Sex crime stats are difficult to track in part because it's estimated only 36% of rapes are ever reported. Trump, though, has continued to double down on the rape comments. 80% of Central American women and girls are raped crossing into the United States. Now, I mentioned this, and they said, oh, how could you mention a thing like this? I had no idea it was this bad. It's horrible. The author of that investigative report says Trump completely misread the article. She says many of the women are being raped by traffickers and officials before they reach the border, not immigrants entering the U.S. We're not talking about Mexican immigrants, so that, that's a pretty big jump to make. Why did you have to say they were rapists? When presented with contrary facts, Trump didn't back down when speaking with CNN's Don Lemon. Somebody's doing the raping, Don. I mean, you know, it's, it's I mean, somebody's doing that. Just saying it's women being raped. Well, who's doing the raping? It's worth pointing out that when making these generalizations, Trump has always followed up. Mexico is smart. With comments like this. I like Mexico. I love the Mexican people. I do business with the Mexican people. Well, these comments on Mexico may be hurting Donald Trump with Univision, NBC, and now, of course, Macy's, but they don't seem to be hurting Donald Trump with the voters, at least not at this point. But if past uh, behavior is a future predictor of uh, current behavior, then maybe no one can be too surprised by Donald Trump. After all, he went after Obama on that birth certificate issue, even though he was presented with facts all day long. To the contrary, perhaps he's doing the same thing now. Well, Anderson? Very high, certainly. The polls in New Hampshire uh, will continue to follow it. Dan Stein.